What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video and today got another debut for you and it is, is of course the freight train David Peralta. Of course if you've been on the channel for a long time you know that David Peralta is my guy. This is my boy since MLB 17. So the kind of meme around David Peralta was that he's the best player in the MLB. In MLB 17, his 85 overall flashback card was so amazing. It didn't matter about his stats. He would just constantly go yard. And then through 18 and 19, any David Peralta card, regardless of stats, and especially in, I want to say, early 19, it might have been 18, he was a silver, and he still raked at like 76 overall. Any David Peralta card just smashes. And then I got him in BR. In his first AB, he got plunked, or second plate appearance, he hits a home run for me. So his first AB goes yard. And then in the second game of BR, he hits a walk-off home run. And that was just with his gold. And this diamond is juiced up even more. David Peralta debut, he's batting a second. It's gonna be fun, man. Okay, 6-0. and And we are playing... 88 John Smoltz. Interesting. So we get at least to go up against a righty. He's got Javi Baez, Jeff McNeil, 92 Eddie Matthews, Josh Bell, Miguel Cabrera. He's got 81 Miggy, 83 Ken Griffey Jr., 83 Chipper, 79 Craig Biggio. A really legend heavy uh, lineup here. He's got a good team and we're playing at a place I've never played before. And that is Capitol Field at night. This could be fun. Tatis, there we go. Starting off right. Talked about him lining out constantly. A uh, little bit off on that one, but we poke it into center field. I'll take that. And here he is. The freight train. David Peralta. I should have been wearing, uh, wearing my David Peralta shirt here. The freight train shirt. David Peralta. Deep to right. Could go. Carry. It's out of here. In his first swing. David Peralta goes yard. Two-run bomb for the freight train. Leave the game. Quit. Quit. You can't handle him. David Peralta, the best player in the game. I got over-anxious on that one. I'm, I'm too amped up right now. All right, here's Glaber. He's been the best player on the team consistently. 82 Glaber Torres. Not even the 88 yet. We're going to get to that one in due time. But this 82 is nuts. And I'm finding the curveball to be a very difficult pitch to hit this year. I don't know if that's just me, or let me know down in the comment section below, of course, if you are struggling to hit the curveball as well. But it, it just feels a little bit uh, tougher to hit this year. Which, I mean, that's good, because in the past, it was a meatball pitch, it was in the zone. But might have to utilize that a little bit more. We'll try it out. We got Kershaw, so we got a pretty good curveball. But I find consistently that I'm just on top of it, like I was there. That was circle change, uh, but still. I mean, that's, that's a great pitch. That's a, that's a great pitch. Hats off to him. You tip your cap and uh, you move on. Nothing you can do with that. All right, first time using Clayton Kershaw. And as I said, this is going to be the perfect guy to try out this curveball with as he jacks that one. Mickey Mantle is going to be there. Hit that one about 390 feet. And he walks Joey Gallo on four pitches. You can't really blame him, though. That is a very dangerous hitter. And here is Eugenio Suarez. I've had a lot of success with him so far. 3-1. We have yet to get out with Josh Bell in these uh, debut videos. Not a ton of ABs. I... Nope. Nope. That's a walk. Don't even. Thank you. All right. Josh Bell. Batting 1,000 for us. I mean, I wasn't going to swing because he hadn't thrown a strike in forever. But I realized it was right there. I was super late. But Bell rips that one. Unfortunately, we were just early on it. Maybe with good timing, that is not an out. He's having a little bit of trouble finding the zone with John Smoltz. That's good information for the rest of the game. Because it's 2-1 on my pitcher. All right, now we can swing away. That's oh, I don't know if I went at that one. All right. I really don't like these uh, pitchers counts. We're working it back to 2-2, two -two, but we just got two strikes on us so early that I, I'm forced to... I, I closed my eyes on that one, it felt like. Jesus Christmas. Oh, he ripped that one. Is that Josh Bell? Might have been. I think he's got two easily. Yeah, closer than I thought. I think it is Josh Bell. Maybe Josh Bell just, again, rakes. 
I gotta watch out with that fastball. That's what he hit, right? The fastball? Let's just slow it down. Oh, he ripped that one. Okay, he's probably gonna get third base on this. Tried to uh, round that so we could throw him out at third. 3-2 to Griffey. We're gonna try and freeze him. I mean, can you put it in any more of a perfect spot? On the black, beautiful out. Got, got him with the K. He's certainly not going to run here. He would have been out by a mile. Looking to turn two. This guy can hit a little bit. Not a bad player. I like it. Oh, and he's going to really let it go foul. It's off the bag. And I threw it. I am absolutely trash. You better be out, though. Double play? Alright. What is happening in this game? <laughs> oh my god. Let's just relax. David Peralta, man of the video. Let's do something. 3-0 and against David Peralta. What did he do last time? I don't know. That's not really a pitch I want to hit. 3-1. Come on. And he walks him. I don't blame him. Yeah, that's 3-2 right there if that's in the strike zone. Guaranteed. Mickey Mantle. That is crushed. I'll take 4-2 instead. Perfect. Perfect. That was sent about 20 rows up. Annihilates one. There's the slider. That one got way too much of the plate. And I still just can't sit back on it. Early again. Squared up again. Roped again. Foul again. And I pop up. Shoot. Gallo. That one's ripped. I'll take that. Would love 6-2 here. Would love a home run. Would love it. Eugenio Suarez. I mean, that one was ripped. Just early. Squared up. Out. That one was ripped. Can we get him at two? David Peralta's got a bit of a noodle. <laughs> Not gonna lie. No! How does he hit that? Brutal. Late okay. Curveball below the zone. I'm crushed. That's a great pitch. I'm taking out. Alright, 4-3. Need some more insurance. Oh, there we go. Josh Bell? All he does is hit. Oh, man. I, that was such a good pitch to hit with Kershaw. I'll take the pop-up, though. Better than a ground out. I, I mean, why am I swinging? I didn't really mean to, but I, obviously too late on a fastball way out of the zone. That was terrible. Here's David Peralta, though. AB number three. Or plate appearance number three. Hopefully he does something. Homer, walk. <sighs> Roll over. Dude, I just can't hit. Can't hit right now. That is out at the wall. I'm just underneath it. There we go. I stayed back on it a little bit. I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm early on it. But it's better than being very early like I have been. I'm, I'm working on staying back. Working on hitting it harder. We're going to get there. Rip that one. Early. Still. <laughs> squared up line out. He's going to steal. Gary's got a hose. Perfect throw. He's got to be out. Got him. I mean, perfect throw. You're going to be out a lot of the time. I love that. And I hung it. Tough play for Tatis, maybe. He bare hands, and he got him. Easy. Didn't have to do that, but it sure did look good. Yeah, I mean, that was me. Can David Peralta make this play? Gold glove last year. Oh, David Peralta extends and makes the play. Unbelievable. What can't this guy do? Play the game in the outfield. Play the game at the plate. David Peralta is so great. Don't hesitate to take him. It's over for the opponents. And it's a four-pitch walk to Joey Gallo for the second time this game. This next pitch is going to be a meatball. Five straight balls. 
He still can't find the zone. Six straight balls. Oh, and I swung there. I mean, it was a curveball right down the middle. I'm early on it. Just got to sit back. And I tried to sit back on that one. Just didn't... Didn't uh, get good timing. Just late. And just a little bit underneath it, too. I'm just practicing sitting back. I'm just trying so hard to sit back. I mean, that's pretty good contact with Josh Bell. Finally got good timing on it. Unfortunately, a little bit underneath it. And that is a fly out to left center. And here's Kershaw. Two outs. I'm just going to hit with him. That is a fly out. Unlucky to be that bad. So un not really luck. Un just unfortunate. I mean, I'm just throwing so many balls right now. I got to come in with a strike. Oh, that's a hit. Are we serious? I mean, we might have him at one. Throw it faster, please. Jesus. No outs. Very early, slightly rolled hit. Like, how are we taking that? That's such a great take. And he turned on that one. I'm going to have to use the cutoff on this one. Not perfect. Not perfect again. He's going to be safe. Tie game. He hit that too far. I mean, he's just ready to turn on that. Let's throw him a changeup in. Howard, how do you take that? Like, actually... Got him 3-1. I mean, he, he was playing for the fastball there. I'm going to throw sliders again. And he's going to run. And he's going to slap it the other way. Hit and run works to perfection. Get it in, Gallo. Oh, my God. Yellow throw. It's my bad. And we're going to lose the lead. What is happening, though? Kershaw's getting rocked for no reason. It's shitty hits. That was good, good. No way. All right, good hit then. He smoked that. We caught a break there. What the fuck? Oh my lord. What is happening? Oh my god, 6-4, one out. I mean, I, how, do, how do you lock me in like that? That far away from the ball, apparently. And he's taking the slider. I, I got to warm up a righty. Can this be an out, or is this going to get down somehow? Almost. We're going to waste a, a bullpen arm. Victor Caratini. This, I feel like, is someone I can go after. Two strikes. I think he's going to be expecting off speed. So I'm going to go back to the fastball. Here's a pitch I probably haven't thrown enough is the curveball. See, he just takes it. Can we get this to break right in? That's a lag. Mickey Mantle, please make this play. All right, 6-4, we're down. Got a hit, and he brings in the goose. Goose Gossage. Could be tough to control. So we're going to try and be patient here. we got to look out for a slurve, sinker, four-seam change. He's got four great pitches. I went. Jeez. That's not even close. Not even close. I deserve to lose with swings like that. Here's David Peralta, though. One for two. With a big two-run home run. Can I, just, I roll over? Can I just sit back? He's not throwing that hard. None of these pitches on this difficulty are hard. I, I just have to sit back. It's so tough for me. I don't know why. Like, they're coming in so slow. And I feel like they're coming in a lot faster. Mickey Mantle. Get out, ball. Perfect, perfect. Get out! Carry! Thank you. If I sit back, I can hit so easily. It's just, that's the difficult part. 
I mean, that's ripped. If I'm sitting back, I'm cracking it. I, I feel like I found it, though, now. I feel like I found it. 3-1 to Glaber. Who's 0 for 3, and I roll over. Alright. I feel like I found it, that inning, though. I feel like I found it. Up the middle with Baez. Hitting or pitching is so tough now because hitting is so good. And it's not even just that, like, you get rewarded more. It's just that pitches outside of the zone, you can constantly get hits on. Left that right down the middle. Perfect throw, though. This is going to be a fun play at the plate. And he is out! And we're going to have him at three. Okay. Um, I started to run. And uh, he didn't tag, obviously. Jeez, I'm, me and the field has been uh, so awful this game. I didn't like how I phrased it like that, by the way. I wish I would have said, like, I've been awful in the field. Perfect throw, but no, no lead, so he's going to be safe. I, I, I can't seem to get the defensive mechanics down in uh, in 20 because God all right down by two again he walks Aaron Judge and here's Eugenio Suarez we got to see Andrew Miller for two more batters I love that time to make him pay tie game there we go. Suarez, base hit. Another early swing. Couldn't stay back on that. But that's going to be... I probably could have sent him. I'm going to take second and third, though, with nobody out. And uh, who's up at the plate? Josh Bell? Just sit. Stay back. Stay back. Stay patient. Stay back. Oh, that was hit pretty well. A little bit underneath it. He might throw three here. He doesn't, which means I could have... No, he threw the cut. I'll take that. I need I need a big hit here. And he intentionally walks Eduardo Escobar to get Andrew Miller out of the game. And he brings in Tommy Canely. Change up primary four-seam slider. Ripped with Tatis! Let's go, baby! That's going to score one. RBI double for Fernando Tatis Jr. Tie game. And guess who's up against a righty? David fucking Peralta, baby. And that one's ripped. I don't even care that that's an out. Good squared up out. I'll take the go-ahead run. 8-7. Huge, huge piece of hitting there from David Peralta to bring up Mickey Mantle. Start sweating. Start sweating, South Carolina. Please. He intentionally walks him. Okay. To bring up El Gary. I mean, this is a huge power threat. If you hang that slider for me. Oh, yeah, he did. And I just can't. I can't stay back. And I chased. Well, I didn't chase, but I wasn't ready for it with the steal. I might throw a righty just because he hasn't seen one yet. But the, his left, he's so much worse. I'm going to throw a Vita Blue. I mean, Vita throws gas. That's the thing that we don't have with Kershaw is the gas. Because Vita can reach 100. Great pitch. Good out. I mean, Chipper cannot hit lefties. So, I'm going to challenge him. See if he can do anything with it. Nope. I'll pitch to Biggio. Now, the one thing we found out that this guy can't really handle is that's a hit. I mean, that's fine. Um, we found he can't really handle the pitch speed. He can't handle the velocity. Who is this? Danny Jansen. So, you get the Blue Jays catcher here. We should have an out. Don't take your time. Just get it over there, Tatis. Come on. And he brings in Liam Hendricks. So, we got Glaber. We need insurance. Stop rolling over, please. Just sit back. I figured it out. Just sit back. Sat back on that one because I was late. And I was good. Oh, okay. I was certainly underneath it. 
I got I I yanked up on it. Cause like who throws a curveball in the upper third of the strike zone? <laughs> Completely whiffed. And I'm underneath it. See, when I'm focusing on the timing, my PCI is not there. I'm gonna figure it out eventually. But we are in a tough spot here. Good curveball. Oh my lord, how do you take that with two strikes? He's gotta be waiting for this fastball. Alright, here it is. Do something. He punches it up the middle. Not good contact, but he gets on. I almost feel like hanging one. See if he gets underneath it. Ooh, interesting. If you're him, I think you expect the fastball here, so slide step change up might get him. Beautifully done. Double play ends the game. Yeah, nice lefty lefty matchup. What can we do to get him a rollover? Curveball again. There it is. Glaber by himself. Unassisted double play. Ends the game. 8 7. Absolute thriller here. Uh, I think I'm probably going to take Kershaw out of my rotation. And Glaber just. Oh my goodness. He just brutalized Tatis. <laughs> Mickey Mantle uh, starting to heat up for us. Two home runs. Of course, the player of the game, really, is David Peralta. Home run in his first at bat. Don't have to talk about the rest of the game, but what a player. But I think it's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed the freight train, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.